Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Israelites, it is important to understand the gift the Most High gave to the people that is made in his image and likeness. Melanin is unique to the indigenous black people all over the world. The beast system has programmed many indigenous people as well as the non-indigenous to believe dark skin is a curse from the Most High. Through mental and physical abuse from the people with the opposite appearance, Many indigenous people hate themselves because of their dark skin. The indigenous people do not realize that their dark pigmentation protects them from the harsh elements in the physical realm. Religion said the black indigenous people are the curse of Ham. White supremacy used the false doctrine, the curse of Ham, to justify enslaving and mistreating dark skinned indigenous people all over the world. The very scriptures they believe they follow in religion said to love your neighbors as you love yourself. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The workers of iniquity would ignore Matthew chapter 22 verse 39 and stand by their interpretation of the scriptures to declare themselves innocent from any wrongdoing. The scripture said they would hold themselves not guilty whose possessors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Although the neighbors the scriptures are speaking of is your brethren, the seed of the fallen utilize our scriptures to include themselves, in addition change the narrative of the scriptures. If people genuinely love their neighbors like they love themselves, hate would not supersede love in this world. Because lawlessness is praised in the beast system, the world is plagued with every foul spirit influencing mankind to go against the will of the Most High. For many years, there is a group of tourists traveling the world to torment the indigenous people everywhere they dwell. Once they conquered the indigenous people, they discriminate and abuse them. Israelites do not ever believe the seed of the fallen would practice what they preach. For example, you cannot say love is love, then promote relationships that destroy another group of people's bloodline. The scriptures does not support the wicked doctrine, the curse of Ham, that has been passed around in the white supremacist culture to justify their actions towards the indigenous black people. The Most High often curse a person or a bloodline with leprosy. The scripture described the discoloring of the skin from leprosy as white as snow. If the beast system wants to associate dark skin with a curse, how do you explain the curse of leprosy? In the scripture, leprosy is the only curse mentioned that alters a person's appearance. Since the beast system wants to associate dark skin with a curse, the scriptures confirm pale skin is a curse. The scriptures give an account of Miriam, an indigenous black woman, the Most High changed her appearance with the curse of leprosy. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say dark skin is cursed by the Most High. Nor does the scriptures disclose a person's skin tone turns dark when cursed with leprosy. I have yet to see a Caucasian person become melanated when they are cursed with leprosy. However, the scriptures give numerous accounts of the people's skin turning white as snow from leprosy. The Israelites are indigenous black people. If the curse of leprosy were to make a person dark skin, then leprosy would not be a curse. 
But if an indigenous person's skin turns pale, everyone can recognize the curse. As you heard in the scriptures, the Most High cursed Miriam, a daughter of Zion, with leprosy and her skin turned white as snow. Miriam had to leave the camp for seven days until she recovered. And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days. And the people journeyed not till Miriam was brought in again. It seems to me pale skin is a curse, not dark skin. Satan has flipped everything upside down. This is called duality. Pale skin lacks melanin. Pale skin is recessive and that gene is unique to the seed of the fallen. The beast system is going to uplift everything that goes against the most high. Because dark skin is the image of the most high, dark skin is not going to be accepted nor appreciated in the beast system. Until the times of the heathens come to an end, black indigenous people of all shades are going to be neglected and discriminated against by the beast system. The world hates everything that reminds them of the most high. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. My prayer is that the indigenous people stop seeking the approval from people who are not qualified. The beast system will never accept you. Stop altering yourself and sacrificing your DNA to pollute your bloodline. The genetic makeup of the seed of the fallen is recessive. In addition, a mutated species from the original people. The scriptures are clear about what skin tone is associated with leprosy. However, we live in a society that prays pale skin and hate dark skin. The Most High is dark skin. Remember, the scripture said the Most High made the man and woman in his image and likeness. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. I find it hard to believe the Most High would curse his creation with dark skin when he is dark skin. Self-hatred does not reside in the Most High. Melanin protects the indigenous people. Melanin is the highest commodity in the bee system. When you hear of indigenous people going missing, once their remains are found, often the bodies are missing their organs. The workers of iniquity are harvesting the indigenous people to save their kind. The indigenous people's organs and DNA help to sustain their population. The seed of the fallen must breed back into the indigenous population if they want to survive. By the fourth generation, the indigenous blood is no longer present in them. If pale skin, colored eyes, and hair were superior genes, why do the workers of iniquity harvest the remains of the indigenous people for melanin and organs? Why do the seed of the fallen struggle with the sun's UV light? The Most High is perfect. The Most High created a people that is one with the earth. The sun plays a major role in our existence. Somehow, there are a group of people that needs extra protection from the sun. For the indigenous black people, the sun loves them. Their melanin protects them from the sun's UV light. The indigenous black people are one with the earth. Remember, the Most High created men from the dusk of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. The origin of the indigenous black people is well documented in the scriptures. The Most High made the indigenous people in his image. The other species of mankind, the beast system cannot determine their origins. If the workers of iniquity honestly believe dark skin is cursed, they would not rely on the indigenous people to survive. The workers of iniquity deceive the indigenous people to believe dark skin is cursed to encourage the indigenous people to seek partners from the seed of the fallen species. Indigenous people all over the world, you are more valuable than you know. 
the workers of iniquity promote interracial relationships to better their DNA. Do not believe them when they say marrying the Caucasian species, you are upgrading. The seed of the fallen is upgrading. The indigenous people are downgrading. The beast system fetishize and promote the features of the seed of the fallen to manipulate the indigenous people into believing they must mix with the serpent seed to obtain those features. It is time for the indigenous black people all over the world to start thinking for themselves. You do not have to mix with the seed of the fallen to obtain colored eyes, hair, and pale skin. The Most High gave the black woman the ability to create a child with any features. You are the foundation. Do not praise recessive genes. The features of the watcher's children are not good. They are a mutation from the original. Indigenous black people all over the world, you are the original. The workers of iniquity can easily influence the biracial person to seek a non-indigenous partner by telling them it would better the life of their children in the B system. Often, biracial people procreate with white partners. Most biracial people are produced from self-hate relationships. Through interracial relationships, the seed of the fallen obtain melanin. That is why the B system pushed the biracial people to procreate with white partners to pass down the gene. The recessive genes of the seed of the fallen wipe out the gene they inherited from the indigenous person by the third and fourth generation. Remember I said recessive genes can only produce recessive genes. Because the Caucasian species genetic makeup is recessive, they cannot be the first people nor the default to any civilization. The Caucasians cannot give birth to melanated indigenous people. A Caucasian person need an indigenous person for their offspring to have a chance of inheriting melanin. If the indigenous black people would listen to the reasons the seed of the serpent date and marry indigenous people, they would not subject themselves to the abuse nor risk the life of their children. The seed of the fallen marry and procreate with indigenous black people to better their genes. Black indigenous people believe it is love. Love has nothing to do with it. The kingdom of darkness do not understand love. That is why they treat you the way they do. Melanin is far more than skin tone. Melanin determines your hair color as well as eyes. The more melanin a person have, the darker is their skin tone as well as their hair and eyes. A person with little melanin have lighter skin, hair, and eyes. It is possible for an indigenous person to have lighter hair and eyes with dark skin. Ibino people lack melanin. That is why they have colored hair, eyes, and pale skin. Remember, if you lack melanin, you carry recessive genes. The beast system glamorized light skin, colored eyes, and hair to get the indigenous people to covet those features. The Most High said, do not covet anything. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Colored eyes are recessive, especially blue eyes. The beast system's beauty standards are very Eurocentric. Blonde hair, blue eyes, and pale skin. The standards of beauty set by the seed of the serpent in the beast system is the total opposite of the appearance of the indigenous black people that are made in the image of the Most High. Whenever it is the opposite, it stems from the kingdom of darkness. This is what you call duality. Remember, Satan imitates everything the Most High does. The Most High has a chosen people, the Israelites. Satan has a chosen people, Jews or Israeli. The Most High created a people that are made in his image. Satan did the same with the seed of the watchers. Zion is associated with the Israelites. Satan has Zionism or Zionists. Notice the similarities. Colored eyes are more sensitive to light due to the lack of melanin. Blonde hair is glamorized in the beast culture. Blonde hair and red hair is an indicator that person lacks melanin. The indigenous black people are discriminated against, 
shamed, and hated by the seed of the fallen for their dark skin. Many indigenous people do not receive the same opportunities that a person who lacks melanin gets in the beast culture. The beast system have the understanding that melanin is important. That is why melanin is valued more than gold in the beast system. The workers of iniquity are aware of the reason the indigenous people have dark skin. This did not stop the serpent seed from spreading false narratives about the indigenous people's dark hue. The seed of the fallen rather praise recessive genes because that is their features than to spread the truth about melanin. They use their media and religion to say God cursed black people with dark skin and plant many diabolical doctrines to shame the indigenous black people for having melanin. If having melanin to protect me from many things in the physical realm is a curse, I'd rather be cursed with melanin than to lack melanin. To live in the physical realm, melanin plays a big role. Remember, melanin protects the indigenous people from the sun's UV light. Whenever a person wears sunscreen, it is adding a dark barrier to their skin that could only be seen under a black light. The people who lack melanin need to have the extra protection. Somehow, the indigenous people's dark skin is a curse for naturally having the protection. Make it make sense. The Most High did not curse the indigenous black people with dark skin. The beast culture shamed the indigenous black people for having melanin because they need it. Indigenous people all over the world, you must understand how the workers of iniquity manipulate you into hating a wonderful blessing. Do not trade your glory for the lesser. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Behind the scenes, the workers of iniquity hunt down the indigenous people to get their hands on the very thing they hate you for, melanin. Why do they take great measures to obtain melanin if it is a curse? The beast culture comes up with all kinds of strategies to get the indigenous people to submit to their narratives. They program you in the church that you are the curse of him. They want to control your beauty by setting a standard that the indigenous people could never obtain. They made you hate yourself so that you would divest. Israelites and indigenous black people all over the world, you must understand the games your enemies play. The scripture said a household or nation that is divided would surely fall. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Hating each other is not going to solve anything but further destroy the indigenous people. You must learn to value what you have. Coveting the recessive features of the serpent seed is not going to add value to your life. Do not believe the seed of the fallen when they proclaim dark skin is a curse. Pale skin is a curse. The Bible said so. The workers of iniquity do not want you to know that melanin is one of the most important assets in the physical realm. Melanin is the mark of the most high on his creation. The animals have melanin. That is how each species of animals obtain their unique colors. I question the motives of the people who do not see color. The dark brown skin tone is unique to the indigenous black people all over the world. Woolly hair is unique to the indigenous black people. However, Israelites, not all melanin is created equal. Beware of the new black or people of color. The new black have the genes of the serpent why they appear indigenous. There are biracial people that are dark skinned. Despite of their dark skin, they have other features that differentiate them from the indigenous black people. Satan imitates the most high, but he could never make the exact duplicate of the original people. Yes, melanin and woolly hair is unique to the indigenous black people. However, there are melanated people among us with straight hair, colored eyes and hair, could this be what the scripture spoke of when it says the confusion of faces? O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day, to the men of Judah, 
and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel, that are near and that are far off, through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. You must be careful when it comes to claiming melanated people with strange features. We live in a generation that claims anyone who appear black. The indigenous people do not gatekeep their community, appearance, and story. Because they do not control the narrative, the seed of the fallen are inserting themselves into the community and claiming the indigenous black people's culture. Not all melanin is created equal. Stay tuned. Behold, the hour come and yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. <laughs>